Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome to another episode of London No Street Box. We're on the 15th, I think it is today. And it's Monday night, so no guesses as to where I'm going. And we're going on a, a mission tonight in search of Oxblood. Because I'm not sure if he's back. So we'll, we'll have to go and find him. We can only but have a look. Well, with it being January now, I don't think many of these places are open. Just coming up to the summer set now. There's a few people in there. Could be a January sale. <laughs> or, or a staff party or something like that. I don't know. Well, there's a bit of a breeze about now, and it is cold, I'll tell you that. London Note is cold tonight. But mind you, I believe it's a lot colder than the east coast of Scotland. Quite a few below. I can see the fellow in this. Serving behind the bar there. Well, I, did, I really didn't think that would be open. Because everywhere, if you see all these, they're all... They're all shut now till probably the beginning of February. I know the Brigadon and the White Heather and them have closed up for a few weeks. St. George's never shuts. Popular place. Popular place, I should say. Coastal escape breaks. Don't know if you can read that. You can see me slightly as well. Can you? Hello. St. George's Four Star Hotel. And I'll show you the pier now. That's, that's still all lit up. Fair play to them. They've got to be LED then, don't they? That looks pretty impressive. I don't know if you can see the moon there. Quarter moon tonight. So there's no werewolves about, we're safe. Oh, we're cut down here. Let's have a look. What's going on in the town? Oh, I was going to go up the the top of the arm tonight to the summit, but uh, I was told it can't really film much from up there this time. And I, I thought you'd be able to see right along the coast, you know, to show you that. But it's all lit up along the roads and the towns, but the views I've told aren't very good of a night. Well, I, knew, I didn't know how how good it would have been, but could have given it a try. But best off filming in the daytime, really, especially a clear day. See, right down the coast, then right over to Hollyhead on Anglesey. And uh, I was going to say hello to regular viewers and friends who leave comments. Always nice to hear from you. And uh, Angela in New Zealand, she's tracing her family roots here, the members from here. Oh, my hand is frozen already. 
And I get that thing in my hand, um, where you, me, me right finger, me trigger finger, turns white. It's, there's some name for it, isn't there? Some, some condition or something. I just, I get it in my left foot as well. Such is life. There you go. That's the old, um, the old pound stretcher. I don't know what they're putting here now. Not pound stretcher, pound land. There's Wildwood to put all the scaffolding around there as well. For some reason. There's Harvey's New York Grill. I forgot to film this out. Some alarm going off there in the works. Oh no, it's this car here. <laughs> Sound like it was in the distance. Yeah. Don't get run over, sorry. Don't get run over. I think I mentioned in one of my last videos I got run over by Bog Island a few years ago. <laughs> But I live to tell a tale, I'm glad to say. I've passed the old amusements now. God, this has been here since I was a kid as well. But I remember more, Cabay's one, which is down on Bog Island. Look at that, eh? The bright lights. Landed in his own version of Las Vegas. There's the old... See the clock up there? Must be the clock pub at one time. And down there was the side entrance and my dad's mum dad's cafe down there. Oh well the spoon's got a new sign at the back. Fair play. There's a number 14. <laughs> There's the old Payne's Cafe bar, which is now Peacock's. I can remember that when it was Payne's Disco and Cafe Bar. There's the old uh, like antique type collectibles place. And this has been taken over by somebody. It's been an eyesore for the past few years. On a prime location, it'd probably be a, a bar or something. Oh. What time are we on now? Excuse me, a second. No, we're doing all right. We'll have a little quick stroll over here. It's the Omo and the Indian restaurant up there. So look, there's the Bengal dynasty, there's another Indian restaurant there. Well, I don't know if it's still here, but they used to have the, like the Chinese buffet down here. Don't seem to see it advertised really, but There's Johnny Doe's. I'll be I'll hopefully be back there for my birthday again this year. There's a conservative club. Yeah. That's it, they've got the blue lights, ready for Rishi Sunak, come in and have a pint. <laughs> and there's fountains are open again now. It's been closed down for a couple of years. It's obviously must have a new owner now or something. Not a bad bar. 
that used to be a at one time that was like a little cafe restaurant type place for many years there's home home cooking the Irish bar but it's uh must be having a bit of a holiday break or something You know, this, ro this road up here, this takes you up to uh, the old church there, which is now a place called Bonkers, which is um, where all the, all the kids go there. It's like a big kids' play area, you know. Slides and all sorts of things like that. So they can all go bonkers in there. Cross over here. Oh, wait, wait for this car to go. And the van's park it as well. Just turn this way. There's a view down into Moston Street there. We're in Upper Moston Street now, as you may know. We'll have a look by home cooking here. This is this is very popular. In the summer, people queue outside here for food. There's a 147. Is the Irish bar closed down? I bet Steve Kearns is crying now. This is local, that is. <laughs> and the, the King's Arms is is closed till the twenty second. Having a bit of a paint and decorate and what have you in there? Is the Orm Chippy? These all used to be little shops at one time, selling all sorts. Is the LC or the London? As we know it, London bars, a few in there. Not bad for a Monday night in, in January, is it? And there's Johnny Doe's. Recommend that. The pizzas are lovely. They're all freshly made. Ah, we'll cross, cross back over this way. There's the old, uh, the rock shop here. We used to have the local young girls outside here in full Welsh costume. With, uh, they'd have a sample plate with the best rock you can get in the world. That was Welsh number eight rock. Best, best tasting ever, that. And I know that from all the free samples I had when I was a kid. <laughs> oh, the cart looks very quiet. Mind you, they, you get a lot of people coming here on the Monday night for the, for the bingo sometimes. Uh, you can win. You can win up to... 200 quid some nights they were telling me if you like bingo a lot of a lot of tour, tourists go in there and have a game oh we go we've gone full circle We'll have a walk down the down the back here. Just feel like getting a few steps in. I'll take you with me. And I hope uh, everybody's well on this Monday night. Don't know when you'll get to see this, wherever you are, what times. There we go.
Now we go down past the cottage loaf. I still love, you still love going to Cottage Loaf, especially in the 90s. That's some great nights in there with Kev Jin, the landlord. Good fella. There it is, in all its glory. And guess who I've spotted? Well, boys and girls, we're in the presence of his little chip. <laughs> there he is. Johnny Rock's blood. How are you, son? You all right? All right. <laughs> Can he see us? Can he see us? Woo! <laughs> there he is. We thought you'd run away from home. <laughs> oh, I think we might have to go and have a couple of drinks, do you think? I think so. Might as well. Come on, then. After you. <laughs> Age before beauty. <laughs> oh. Well, isn't that great? We've, we've met old Ox bloody here. He is, look. Making his way. You can smell that beer. Let's go up this way, I can. Oh. Righty out. Me and John will say to Archie in a minute. That's a good night to you, didn't we, John, in the, in the cottage loaf? Yes, we did. Yeah, Sully and Oxblood, live. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he's back from his travels. Where have you been, John? Gran Canaria. Gran Canaria. It's all right for summer. And he abandoned me, left me on my own. <laughs> Radio. Right. I'll leave this one here. I'll let him go in. Look, he's heading there now to that bar to get the Guinness in. Good lad. Okay. Hope you've enjoyed it tonight. <laughs> been a bit slightly different, a bit of fun. Uh, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying the videos. And I'll see you on the next one. Adios, amigos.